Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demos Eras. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web bot defense profile, to protect web applications from layer 7 denial of service bot attacks. This is demo 36 of the AOF demo series, and it's intended for advanced level big IP advanced web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit layer 7 denial of service attacks against the web application. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can block all layer 7 DOS spot attacks and prevent them from going to the back end web servers. First, we'll launch some layer 7 denial of service attacks against the DVWA web application. The first attack uses Apache Bench. Apache Bench, or AB, is a single threaded command line computer program for measuring the performance of web servers. This command quickly sends 200 requests for the login logo.png file on the virtual server at 10.1.10.35 and displays the results in milliseconds. Let's look at the virtual server we just attacked. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Let's view the big IP advanced WEF event log. You can see that because of the attack, all 200 requests for the login logo were processed by the advanced WEF security policy and forwarded to the web server. If there were thousands of bots in a botnet sending the same command, it would likely overwhelm the web server and take it offline. We'll clear the log file of all entries. Next, we'll use the curl command to attack the web application. Curl is a command line tool for getting or sending files using URL syntax. The 1 through 60 code runs the curl command 60 times. The curl command result is the HTML web code for the DVWA login page. Let's refresh the event log. Because of the attack, all 60 requests for the login.php URL were accepted by the Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy and forwarded to the web server. We'll clear the log entries again. Now, we'll use a script called PhantomJS. Each time damn vulnerable web app, DVWA dash login displays, indicates a successful request for the DVWA login page. Because of the attack, hundreds of requests for the login.php URL were considered legal by Big IP Advanced WEF and forward it to the web server. Finally, we'll use a utility called Loic, or Low Orbit Iron Cannon. Loic is an open source, network stress testing, and denial of service attack application. Note that we already have the virtual server IP address as the target, directing requests to the security.php URL. We'll run this attack for about 5 seconds. In just a few seconds, 
over a thousand requests for the security.php URL were considered legal and sent to the web servers for processing. We'll now open the pools statistics page. This is the number of requests that were sent to the web server during all four of these layer 7 denial of service spot attacks. We'll reset the pool statistics. Now, let's protect the web application from these DOS spot attacks. To do this, we'll create a big IP advanced WEF bot defense profile. We'll give the profile a name. We'll change the enforcement mode to blocking. On the bot mitigation settings page. For untrusted bot, we'll select the block mitigation. On the browser's page. For browser verification, we'll select to verify before access. We'll also change the grace period to 2 seconds. We're lowering this value for the purposes of this demo. However, in a production environment, 300 seconds would be an appropriate amount of time for a legitimate browser to reply to the JavaScript challenge. That's all it takes to create a bot defense profile. The last thing we need to do is add this profile to the virtual server. We'll use the virtual server security policies page. Notice we already have a big IP advanced WEF security policy attached to this virtual server, named 31 bot security policy. We'll now simply enable the bot defense profile option. And then select the new bot defense profile. We'll now update the virtual server. Now, Let's attempt the same DOS spot attacks that we did earlier. We'll start with the curl command. All the curl commands are now blocked. Let's refresh the event log. There are no new log entries. All new curl requests were blocked by the big IP advanced WEF bot defense protection prior to being examined by the big IP advanced WEF security policy, and none of these requests were sent to the web server. Let's examine the big IP advanced WEF bot defense bot requests log. This log displays all big IP advanced WEF bot defense data. The requests for login.php were denied, due to a bot signature being detected. In the bot details section, you can see the bot signature name, which is curl, and the bot category, which is HTTP library. You can also see that this is an untrusted bot. Next, we'll rerun the phantom.js script. Notice that the page title isn't displaying. That's because PhantomJS isn't receiving an HTTP response due to failing the browser challenge. When we refresh the event log, you can see that again, there are no log entries. All new PhantomJS requests were blocked by the big IP advanced WEF bot defense protection prior to being examined by the big IP advanced WEF security policy. After refreshing the bot defense log, for the newest entry, we'll select all details. And then in the verification action and challenge status section, we can see that the requests for index.php were challenged by Big IP Advanced WEF, which the script could not respond to. 
We'll now run a new Apache Bench command. Configured to submit 1000 requests for the login logo.png file. This command takes a bit longer to run because it needs to attempt all 1000 responses before displaying the results. You can see that Apache Bench fails to submit the 1000 requests to the web server. Once again, there are no event log entries as all new Apache Bench requests were blocked by the big IP advanced WEF bot defense protection. In the bot defense log, we can see that these requests were blocked due to the AB bot signature being detected. We can also see that the bot category is DOS tool and that this was a malicious bot. Finally, we'll rerun the Loic attack again. And then refresh the event log. Once again, there are no event log entries. All new Loic requests were blocked by the big IP advanced WEF, bot defense protection. Let's refresh the pools statistics page. During all the last four bot attacks, no malicious requests were sent to the web servers. We can see that the requests for security.php from the Loic attack were blocked due to being identified as a malicious bot. In the final part of this demo, we'll examine the bot defense, bot traffic report. This report displays several bot traffic statistics for the entire Big IP Advanced WEF system. If the Big IP system has several virtual servers, we can view bot statistics by virtual server by selecting a specific virtual server in the left panel. In the traffic by class section, we can see the amount and percentage of requests in the past hour from malicious bots, from web browsers, from untrusted bots, and from suspicious web browsers, in addition to requests from mobile applications and trusted bots. In the bot categories section, we can see the amount and percentage of requests from bots in different bot categories. In the denied requests section, we can see the amount and percentage of requests that were denied because they were blocked or failed a capture challenge or fail the browser verification challenge. And finally, at the bottom of the page, we can click View Detected Bots, which displays all bots that have been detected in the past hour by the big IP Advanced WEF bot defense, with details about each bot. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using an F5 Big IP Advanced WEF bot defense profile to protect web applications from layer 7 denial of service bot attacks. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.